Hey everyone, what is going on? So we're doing my very first 5 Ultra League Go Battle League battles in this video. And I did go 5-0 in the very first battles I had, at least in Season 1. So the team I was running is going to be Reggie Steel as a lead, Polyrath, and Togekiss. So, how did I think it worked? Well, I mean, I went 5-0, so I think it worked pretty well. It's definitely boosted up my rating. So overall, I'm satisfied with the team. Is it invincible? Obviously not. It definitely has some flaws. Uh, you know, for example, Swamp It, right? This team has a difficult time dealing with it, especially if I don't really have any shields, or even if I do. I mean, the Hydro, the Hydro Cannon, it gets to super fast, so they're able to spam it really fast, doing good damage to Togekiss and Registeel, right? Obviously, it has an Earthquake for Registeel. Polyrath, I guess, is the best answer to it. Uh, so I was thinking of maybe removing Togekiss for Venusaur, but if I do that, then I'm going to have a difficult time handling the Giratina in the back, should they have one. Unless if, uh, I mean, I know my Registeel can handle it, but, um, you know, if Registeel goes down or it gets really low, it's not really going to be able to. You know, Polyrath has that Ice Punch, and I guess if it has an advantage, it can beat that Giratina, but it's going to be a little bit difficult to do so. Uh, so, overall, yeah, still trying things out. Let me know your team in the comments down below, and let me know what you want me to try. I'm also debating Melmetal instead of Registeel, because of how fast it charges up. It is going to hit opposing Melmetal, as well as Registeel with superpower. It has Rock Slide for, like, the Togekiss. Obviously, it resists move. It resists you know, charm anyway. Uh, so I think Melmetal might be the answer instead of Registeel, but again, we're just trying things out. And, you know, I had success in my first set of battles, so we'll see how this goes. I may continue using this team. I might add to it. We'll see what happens. Uh, but as I said, let me know what team you're running as well, because I am curious to hear about it, and maybe I'll try your team as well. You can let me know on Discord. You can let me know on Twitter. You can let me know in the comments down below as well. Uh, so this battle is almost over. I'm going to block my purified Polyrath. I did invest in it literally the day Ultra League came out. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and go for my Dynamic Punch. And this is going to be able to knock out that Empoleon. So we do go ahead and pick up game one, as you know, because I won all five games. So we're going to go ahead and win that one. It's a really good game and well played to my opponent. Still, 3,000, getting to 3,000, rank 10 is still difficult. So I don't know, can we make it in the Ultra League or are we going to make it in the Master League? Let's hope. Uh, so, okay, we catch a Cresselia lead, and I'll tell you, I did more battles after these five, which, you know, I'll have a video of that maybe tomorrow, and, um, you know, I've seen a lot of Cresselia leads, to be honest with you. I was thinking of maybe leading Polyrath and having Registeel in the back, but, you know, if I do that, I don't want to catch a Cresselia lead with the Polyrath. I know I can switch out, but then they have an option to switch. Uh, but either way, we're just charging up, going for Flash Cannon. He does pull the switch. I'm going to save my energy and switch into Polyrath. I knew this was just a body slam, so we're going to be able to take it with the Polyrath. No big deal. Charging up to a Dynamic Punch, and I am going to go ahead and go for it. I'm not going to bluff with Ice Punch. He could take a Dynamic Punch anyway, so he might risk it. He does, so that's doing a good amount of damage. Um, now... Out comes a Body Slam as well, so we're going to be able to take that one totally fine. We can't really take another one though, so I am going to go ahead and bluff with the Ice Punch this time, hoping that he shields, and he does not, so nice play on his end. However, we still managed to get to another Ice Punch, so if he shields this, he might. If he's close to a Body Slam, he doesn't shield it, so Snorlax will collapse, so that's good for us. So let's see what he decides to bring in. Going to be that Cresselia. So at this point, I think I decide to just hang out and stick it out. I'm not going to pull the switch. I do go for the Ice Punch. And doing a decent amount of damage. I decide not to switch because obviously he still has a Pokemon in the back. So I am not going to go and switch. And Polyrath will go down. Out comes my Registeel and I immediately go for that Flash Cannon. Just trying to get whatever damage off against that Cresselia as I can. Uh, so out comes my Togekiss against his Lucario. This is a beautiful situation for me because it doesn't matter how many shields he has. We are still going to be able to take the win. Going to be that Shadow Ball. Totally fine. Uh, I was hoping it was like a Power Punch bait, but I guess there was no reason to bait, bait at that point. I do go for the Ancient Power. You know, I could have just farmed it down, but we're going to go ahead and go for the Ancient Power. Perhaps getting the boost. Uh, actually, a little bit of lag, but... It is what it is. Luckily, it's nothing that's going to cause us to lose. He does get off a charge attack. I will shield this one. And we're just going to be able to faint the Cresselia with, uh, with Charm. Now, in the Ultra League, I do actually think that Clefable is better than Togekiss. Because it's, it's not weak to Giratina altered form. 
right? It's not going to have that weakness because it's not going to be weak to Ancient Power. So, you know, another Pokemon I want to try out. I'll see if I have one. I actually haven't checked yet. But either way, we do go ahead and take Game 2. So let's see uh, how things go in my next opponent. Against my next opponent, I should say. So Registeel lead again against Venusaur. So this is another positive matchup for us. Uh, I have been seeing Venusaur leads as well. Perhaps trying to catch that Swampet because it's kind of... I mean, Swampet is super common. I don't know if it's super common as a lead. I haven't seen it as a lead too many times. Usually I see it in the back. Uh, but maybe things will change. So I'm going to go ahead and go for my Flash Cannon against this Venusaur. This Registeel definitely wins this matchup. He might pull the switch. I was actually surprised he didn't, but now he switches, maybe trying to catch my Flash Cannon. But I am going to go ahead and switch into Togekiss. And this Togekiss is going to be able to take this Shadow Ball. I was hoping it was an ominous wind. But if, if I had known this Shadow Ball, I would have shielded because I will shield this. So I could have shielded the Shadow Ball and not taken this, but it is what it is. I was still able to feint the Origin Form Giratina. So that's definitely good for us. So let's see what he decides to bring in. I'm going to go for that Ancient Power just to get off whatever damage I can against this Venusaur. He's not going to knock it out. He does have a charge attack. I do let it go through. So it is going to be a Frenzy Plant that's going to knock us out. I was kind of expecting him to use a shield just because, um, you know, it could have been Flamethrower, I guess. But either way... Against the Snorlax, I am going to go ahead and go for the Focus Blast, and he will shield that one up. Totally fine by me. Let's see what I decide to do. I almost get to that other Focus Blast. Not able to do so, but that's okay. Going to take that Body Slam. Not enough to knock us out. So uh, we're going to go right now and go for that uh, flash uh, Focus Blast, and that will do a lot of damage. He still decides not to shield. I guess he thought it was going to be a bait. Totally understandable. I do go for the Ice Punch. Let's see if this is going to be enough to knock out that Snorlax. It won't be because he shields and he's going to go ahead and get off a charge attack. I do shield it. I don't want to risk the Earthquake at this point. Uh, it's going to be a Body Slam. I figured if he had the Earthquake, he probably would have went for it. Anyway, he switches out Venusaur to catch the charge attack, but I didn't work out because I just fainted him with Mud Shots. And now I'll Dynamic Punch his Snorlax to knock him out. So really well played on my opponent's end. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take that game. So let's go ahead and move into the next one. Same team for this video. Uh, let's see, just waiting on my opponent right now. Gonna be, okay here, we got my next opponent. Let's see what lead he is ru running. So there's my Pokemon. His is gonna be the altered form Giratina. So positive matchup for us because Registeel is resisting all of its charge attacks, right? Now he pulls an impressive switch into Swampet to catch the Flash Cannon. So really well played on his end. So this is what I was talking about. Swampet has been giving my team quite a bit of trouble. But Polyrath can actually handle it relatively well. So we're going to just go for the Dynamic Punch. He will shield that up, not wanting to take that damage. And he'll go for a Charge Attack. I risk the bait because even if it's an Earthquake, I can take it. It's a Hydro Cannon. So we do call that one correctly. And I'm charging up. He actually gets to another Charge Attack. This one I will shield. And this one is uh, going to be the Earthquake. So we actually call that correctly. And I am going to go ahead and go for the Dynamic Punch. Does he want to use his second shield on it? No, he does not. So I am trying to faint down now with Mud Shots. And we do. He must have just gotten to the Hydro Cannon. But at least we fainted him down before he was able to get it off. We would have lived it. But it still would have done a good amount of damage. In comes Togekiss. And, you know, Togekiss is a good counter to Polyrath. But we have so much energy saved up. I believe we have back to pack Ice punch is ready to go but I actually pulled the switch into my Togekiss to try and farm him down uh, he is going to get to the ancient power that's what I figured he would so this is going to knock out my Togekiss I allow it to so Togekiss will go down I want to save my last shield because I know what he has in the back I know he has Giratina I want to save it for my Registeel so he switches right into Giratina to go for the charge attack totally fine I'm going to allow it to happen going to be that ancient power you could see we could easily take ancient power and, I mean, he could take Flash Cannon well, but not as well as I could take Dragon Claw and Ancient Power. So, uh, I guess he's just going for the boost right now. So, I will go for by Flash Cannon. And this will do a pretty decent amount of damage. So, I pull the switch into my Polyrath, and now I go for the Ice Punch right away. Instead of going for it against that Togekiss, I go for it against the Giratina. He will shield that one up. And go for a charge attack. So I am going to just allow this to go through. Now my shield. I have my shield with my Registeel. 
So I am going to go ahead and try and get to another one. However, he pulls the switch, and once I saw that, I'm like, okay, uh, we can just farm down at this point, can't we? Uh, so we do go ahead and farm down that Togekiss, luckily for us, and we have enough energy for a Flash Cannon. Now, this is not enough to knock out that Giratina, we, but we just need one more, and we still have a shield. So he will get to his charge attack, so that's why I kept the shield. We have the last shield. We're going to go ahead and use it right now. And we're going to be able to get to this flash cannon to knock out this Giratina. But that was actually a really close game. And really, well, I guess he tried to switch into Togekiss to catch my flash cannon. But luckily for us, it didn't work out that way. So we're going to go ahead and pick up this win. And I believe we're up to the fifth battle. I think we are. I think we are. So let's find out. Let's find out. Thank you so much, guys, for all the support you've been showing me on my Go Battle League videos. I really do appreciate it. We got so many views on some of them, and it's just absolutely crazy. So welcome to all the new subscribers that had recently subscribed since I started focusing on Go Battle League. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm done with the Silver Arena Cups. I'm not, but... Um, I'm, I'm loving Go Battle League right now, and I know a lot of you are loving it as well because you want to rank up, so you want to see the videos and maybe different team suggestions and get an idea and feel for it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and immediately go for Focus Blast against this Registeel. He will not shield it. Most Registeel, from what I, I've noticed, don't shield the first attack. Uh, they usually let it go through. Not all the time, uh, but that's why I decided to shield it. I'm actually going to shield it again. Uh, so... I am actually down both shields, so a little bit scary, but I do want to get this Registeel off the field. He does use his shield, so only down one shield at the moment. So I am going uh, for Focus Blast. I don't know why I didn't go for Flash Cannon, <laughs> honestly, right? Uh, but uh, Flash Cannon, I think, would have taken him close. I don't think it would have knocked him out. Should have went for the Flash Cannon anyway because he he shields it. So, there's, yeah, I should have went for the Flash Cannon. Definitely a huge mistake on my end uh, because he's going to win the CMP tie once we get to the Flash Cannon. As you notice, he has best buddies with his Reggie Steel. I currently don't, although I'm working on it. However, this allows me to farm up a lot of energy with Polyrath. And Polyrath can win some matchups that he usually loses with loaded energy such as Giratina as you can see right now I believe Polyrath wins this now uh, because we have multiple ice punches ready to go right off the bat he could take ice punch uh, he, he he excuse me he can take ice punch really well but because we have them ready to go gonna do a lot so I'm gonna pull the switch and we switch just in time to try and catch that dragon claw and we're able to do so so really interesting switch out comes that swampa that i've been having trouble with uh but we're in a good position so i think we're gonna be okay but let's see what happens well i know we're gonna be okay but uh let's see what happens the hydro pump, uh, pump hits only needs one more i am gonna go ahead and go for my ancient power this is resisted so i think that swamp it survives it uh, he does he does enough to get off another hydro pump or not a hydro pump but a hydro cannon and that will knock out my togekiss but we didn't really need togekiss we need this polyrath for in order for us to win so i'm gonna go ahead to knock it out the swamp it with the ice punch so swamp it is gone eliminated in comes giratina just one more ice punch we get to it this should definitely be enough to knock out that giratina altered form uh it is not but <laughs> actually it's not he gets off another charge attack uh, so that's fine. That is going not going to knock us out though. Then we can just fade them down with mud shots. So good game, and that will be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you so much for checking out my latest video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, check out one of my other videos that you'll probably enjoy.